but it's you know it's just every day. I mean, David Crosby just left last week, and then it's like. Well, I have, a, I have a David. I have a David Crosby story for you that fits with Sunset. Please. I get a call. I get a call from Gypsy and asked me if I was available um, the next morning to do a demo session. And uh, I said, "Well, it depends on what time it is because you know I'm going to have to work fairly late tonight." She said, "Well, it'd be about 10. And I said, "I think I can do that." So I said, "Who's the session with?" And she says, uh, "David Crosby has an artist that he wants to bring in and cut some demos." And I thought to myself. David Crosby. I said, is he Bing Crosby's son? <laughs> and she goes, well, I don't think so. I'm like, okay, okay. So I show up the next day and I've never met him before. I don't even know who he is or what he is. Um, but he, he comes in and uh, he says, I need you to set up a microphone out in the studio, just one. And then I need you to plug this lamp in someplace where I, I can see it. And I said, well, what is it? Because it looked, it, it was kind of like, he says, a lava lamp. I said, what does that do? And he says, just plug it in. <laughs> so I, I plug it in, put it in the control room, and we start, you know, turn the lights down, and we start recording this young woman. And I, as I'm sitting there, and I've got the lights down, I'm starting to listen to some of these lyrics, and I'm thinking, wow, this gal can really write. These are, I'm getting major pictures, you know, from these lyrics. And, you know, I'm not high, right? I'm just, just a skinny Italian from... Uh, from you know, Colton, California. And um, we get done with the session. And uh, so I said, so who, who do you, and I'm filling in the tape box. I've got all the tunes down there. And I said, so who's the producer on this? He says, David Crosby. And I said, who should I put down as the artist? And he goes, Johnny Mitchell. And I said, okay, yeah. very good. So that was the first time we ever, I ever saw Johnny Mitchell. And this was her first recordings that were gonna be submitted to A&M Records for her first record. Wow. And, I, and I will tell you this, it, it, when you say, you know, the iconic stuff, for me, it's about, I heard her sing and I heard her songs and I was so moved again by what I was hearing coming out of those microphones. Those are the moments for me as an artist, for me as a listener to say, wow, I really like this because it's emotionally doing something to me. And and to see her become successful, as successful as she has become, to me, she deserves every moment of her success. And there are other people I don't think they deserve it because they abuse it, you know, by either just getting their egos too out there or too many drugs or, or, or they just, you know, become power uh, bangers, you know, just stepping on people and making people look and feel inferior because they happen to think they're somebody, but not Joni, you know, she just mm. was fantastic. 